people in India will watch it out of curiosity because we don't get to see too many Pakistani movies in India. Uh, but having come there out of curiosity, I'm certain that their curiosity will not just be satisfied, but they will go away uh, feeling quite pleased with the with the product. Uh, I I think that the problem that the film talks about is also relevant to India, the illegal immigration business, and it will it will certainly touch a chord because the story is told in a very uh, warm, compassionate manner, and uh, it's a pretty entertaining film as well. Drove me to act in the film was the fact that I felt that uh, it, this is going to be a significant film. It's, I also have been feeling for quite a while because I know a little bit about the Pakistan industry, film industry and I have seen some of their movies, uh, the, the Punjabi blood-drenched revenge dramas which I don't really care for. And I was feeling it's high time that some, somebody young in Pakistan started making movies which reflect the reality of Pakistan rather than giving us these the twisted versions that the Bollywood cinema gives us or, uh, you know, uh, resorting to escapism because um, the, uh, the Bollywood monster having invaded Pakistan is a double-edged sword. It's, uh, in, on, in, on the one hand, it has practically wiped out these Punjabi uh, melodramas, which is not entirely a bad thing. Uh, on the other hand, it is bringing in a lot of revenue on both sides. And I think it will, in, in a way, gradually will contribute to uh, an easing of relations where, and I, and I think art is the only thing that can do that. So I had to play a guy who has no sympathy for these people, who organizes these people but doesn't feel a thing for them. And for him, they are mere pawns in his game. So, I mean, I, I heard stories of, of, of uh, immigrants who were take, being taken abroad on a donkey in a container. The container was packed with human beings. The container got overturned into the sea when the ship got costed by the Coast Guard. How anyone can do a thing like this is, is beyond comprehension. It just makes my hair stand even when I think of it. I had to put these things out of my head or I had to then think like this guy. Because when I play a part, I try to think like the character. I don't claim that I become the character or anything of the sort. But in order to play him successfully, you've got to get your mind working like him. And so I had to, I had to steel myself against these, these, these absolutely horrifying tales that one had heard of people being taken in a donkey, being ridden around for a night and then being brought right back to Karachi and told you have landed in the way. Or offloaded at the first port that they reached and told that you, are, you have reached Canada. You know, to think of the plight of these, these people, it's, it's really, really hair-raising. I had to, to stop empathizing with those people for a while, while I was playing this part, because I could not afford to let the compassion, my own personal compassion, that I feel for a situation like this show through in the part I was playing of this completely twisted character who, you know, who, who, who's, who's almost a sadist and who, who just loves, you know, manipulating people. You know? Uh, firstly, I detest these terms where, where Hollywood is considered to be the reference point for everybody. Why on earth do we call ourselves Lollywood and Tollywood and Bollywood and Follywood and God knows what? Why can't we just call ourselves the Pakistan film industry and the Indian film industry? Um, it's an abbreviation. It sounds cool to, to, to refer to oneself as Bollywood. Bollywood. The term Bollywood started off as a pejorative, in fact, coined by British journalists, and we've gone and embraced it just shows our collective idiocy, you know. <laughs> uh, I would place it as a new wave, though I detest that term as well. I'd, 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 I'd categorize it as a significant Pakistani film because though it uses at places the form of the popular entertainer, which means it has songs and so on, uh, it has, it has uh, kind of satires on the popular cinema as well in it, it's not a tribute to those films, it's a satire, is what I feel. I don't think it fits into any kind of a slot. Uh, I hope it creates a genre in Pakistan, which, which, which other younger filmmakers can follow, where you're making a film in order to portray the truth of your times. Films like 
ghadar and laksha and war should not be made because they only add poison to to how we perceive each other i hate these movies whether made in india or made in pakistan because they ridicule the other side they show the other side as morons as villains as wicked people and and it's high time we put an end to this nonsense which is why i consider it a, a responsibility to not only go to pakistan and act in worthwhile films but also to present my plays to the audience there which is in lahore particularly starved of theater and also go there and work and i intend to do that in fact next month i'm going again to karachi to work with the national academy of performing arts in karachi to work with their students and participate in their festival it's a, such a false film just because it's beautifully photographed and because farhan akhtar looks so sexy everybody takes it to be a great film it's nonsense it is lies from the word go and it it panders to the same jingoistic nonsense for which there was no need uh to to achieve a climax you know that he that his true victory is when he triumphs over a pakistani runner i mean what is this and 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 my saying this about magmil kabag in india has created a storm because uh, oh farhan is so brilliant and he is so wonderful and he worked so hard he grew his hair and beard that's not working hard on acting you know your hair grows even <laughs> in any case yeah and 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 then and then he they made him look like rocky or something you know he's he's supposed to look like milka and this milka himself saying yes yes but he chief film mein मेरी जिंदगी ऐसी ही थी आई मीन डजन द गाय रिमेंबर वट ही लुक लाइक इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी इन द रोम ओलम्पिक्स डिट पे टू मेनी बिल्स दैट वॉज अ फिल्म आई डिट बिकॉज आई रेडी वॉन्टेड टू डू इट अभिषेक चौबे इज अ वंडरफुल डायरेक्टर आई हैव अ फीलिंग ही विल बी वन ऑफ इंडियाज सिग्निफिकेंट फिल्म मेकर्स इन द फ्यूचर ही इज अकम्पलिश्ड टेक्नीशियन ही इज गॉट हिज हिज मैथ वर्क आउट राइट वन ही मेक्स अ मूवी and he has all the right ideas and he's determined not to conform yet he believes in entertaining cinema he in fact openly says i i, I do not like realistic films i want to make films which will keep the audience engaged but which will not descend to you know the lowest level so dearish kia was a film i really wanted to do i've been awaiting it for the last 3 years and i was very happy doing it and i'm very happy with the response it's getting she's gorgeous she's absolutely gorgeous and uh, it's quite astounding that a, a girl who's a person who's seen such heights of fame and celebrity can be still so grounded and ordinary in her real life and uh, i think she she doesn't really think of herself as a film star she thinks of herself as an ordinary person uh it's really wonderful working with her i i really look forward to working with her again and and also her popularity is undiminished after having been away for so long what quality we never had any quality um and this whole business of doubting how much money your film is earned is downright vulgar and it's 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 ultimately an admission of why bollywood makes movies making a good movie is the last thing on anybody's agenda making a lot of money is the top priority It's all about stardom. It's all about peddling the project. It's all about creating, you know, games. And then George Lucas has spread this 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 ailment all over the world. So now we have toys and video games and God knows what. They will get over it for my advice. My concern is that with the invasion of the Bollywood cinema, Pakistani filmmakers should not try to aspire to make films of that kind. which i am afraid is what's going to happen their war is a reply to our ghadar you know they didn't start this abusive nonsense it's we who started it uh, with many other films not just uh, ghadar ghadar was was particularly offensive uh, the advice i would give is you are small except that you are small and make small movies which reflect the truth of your times unfortunately movie making has become a way to multiply your investments not to make a statement my my fervent wish is wish is that the youngsters of pakistan realize 
that this dumbing down of the audience, which popular movies do, is a harmful thing. And we've got to make movies which are which are better, quite simply. And meeting a number of young people in Pakistan, I am convinced that that is that's on the verge of happening. In the same way as everybody in Bollywood wants to go to Hollywood, you know, and they'll boast about a two-second appearance in some Hollywood movie, something they should be ashamed of, but they'll boast about it. I dare say, Pakistani actors look upon the Indian cinema in the same way as we look upon Hollywood. And it's, a, it's, it's completely misguided because what is there for them? I mean, we, we make use of their wonderful musicians and their wonderful singers and their wonderful poets whenever it suits us. Uh, there's such a lot of wonderful actors in Pakistan as well. We never think of using them. So I would advise the young actors in Pakistan who have this fascination for India to try to, to, try to develop an equal fascination for their own country. Provided they don't get Pakistani actors to come and mouth anti-Pakistan sentiment, which is what they do. And those poor actors have a tough time going back. I don't know why they accept those parts in the first place. Uh, parts in, you know, Manoj Kumar's old movie, he got a, this, this wonderful Pakistani star couple, uh, Muhammad Ali Sahab and uh, his wife Zeba, to, you know, to, to sing a patriotic Hindi song, Indian song. Now, I, I think that's not done, you know. Uh, if you if you want to use Pakistani artists, then use them for their abilities, which are immense. I've heard the most wonderful singers in private sessions, in homes in Lahore, uh, singers who, whose whose voices and whose singing is is breathtakingly good, but who are unknown. I wish I wish the Indian film industry would explore such people a little more. Uh, well, Pakistani cinema has to find its own identity. I think that is terribly important. I would be happy to go back to Pakistan and work in more such movies, uh, even if there's no money involved, because I think that that's, it's terribly important. Cinema has, a, has an enormous reach, and I think if we propagate the right kind of values on both sides, things will get better. My, my dearest wish, as I said earlier, is that Pakistani cinema should not start aping Bollywood. I don't know if that can be prevented, but I really hope that Pakistani cinema finds its own identity.